Hey, it's Dirk from Sentry. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to set up GitHub code owners and use those to automatically assign issue ownership within Sentry. What does that mean exactly? So if you notice on that error that we generated a while back, just our generic error, the assignee is empty. If I click down in this, we'll provide you some best guess suggestions on who should potentially own this. It can be a person or a team, but we're not automatically assigning it. If we were, you would see the signees avatar in here. And you'll notice if I hover over this, it says you can also auto assign issues by adding code owner rules. So if I jump to this, uh, this takes us actually to the documentation. So let's jump into the error. We can get to that by clicking on this little gear icon, which takes us to the project and the issue owners settings. Issue owners can be assigned a few different ways. We already talked about manually setting them. You can also use Sentry rules to set them. So we have ownership rules. And the reason that you would do this is because we allow you more granularity in assigning those rules. If you had, for example, tags that are coming in from your events being set by the Sentry SDK or custom tags that are being set by you, you can use our ownership rules to automatically assign uh, a particular issue to a team or a team member. GitHub has no idea what Sentry tags are. So GitHub follows more of the path model where a given path or file or wildcard uh, of a path or file will assign that person. If I try to add code owners now, it's not going to work because we haven't actually defined or declared any code owners file yet, and we certainly haven't pushed it to GitHub yet. But let's just say I do that. I can pick the repo that we set up earlier, but you'll notice no code owner file found. So let's fix that. If we go back over to VS Code. I'm going to shut down our server temporarily and we're going to add a folder first, uh, not in node modules. Let's click out of that and go back up here. We'll call it GitHub, I and mean, this is pretty conventional. You can see it even picks up the icon. Within that folder, I'm gonna create a code owners file. Now within this file, we can do lots of stuff, and it's beyond the scope of this video to talk about every way that you can configure a code owners file. There's lots of different ways to do it. Uh, you can do teams, you can do individual users, you can do all sorts of wildcards and paths, and but let's just keep it really simple. I'm just gonna say all JSX files are owned by our organization, Quickstark, or that's my user within GitHub. And all text files are gonna be owned by George. So I can put an email in here per code owner file specifications. Uh, the only thing to note here is when I put an email here, we're going to have to map this we're gonna to have to go set up the initial mapping for this. Get Sentry will pick up this uh, GitHub handle and make a suggestion on um, it being a valid map, uh, but George will have to do manually, and you'll see that here in just a second. Okay, so this is done. Now we can just do a git add and a git commit uh, adding, and then why don't we push, oops. Let me just jump back up here. Okay, now we're good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and fire up our dev server again, just so it's up and running for when we wanna get another error. And let's just make a quick change to this so that when we fire a second error in, we have this ready to go. Okay, back here now. Now I can click on add code owners and go to uh, this, and you'll notice it automatically picks it up. Great, I'll add a file. And you'll notice immediately there's one ownership issue. And I mentioned that the George thing is gonna cause us a problem, and this is the problem. The following usernames do not have an association in Quick Start. No um, association. So uh, it's picking this one up automatically, and then we also need to add George, and we need to use his GitHub handle in order to add him. You can't use email here. And that's it. Now we have our users mapped, but it'll give you that error if you don't have this mapping completed. We need to know what external user maps to what Sentry user. Same thing with team mappings. If you have teams, we need to know that explicitly as well. Okay, now we can go back to our project. 
and click here and click on configure and then we'll go to issue owners and then let's scroll down to the bottom and we can see we have a valid code owners file so you can see our code owners file is replicated here the last thing is automatic assignment of issues by default this is turned off so we're not going to automatically assign code owner issues right now until we turn this button on you can still we'll still make suggestions of uh, potential assignees but you'll still you'll have to manually assign them if you want it to be automatically assigned we need to click this button and that will automatically assign dirk or quick start so to speak to any new issues where we see a jsx file in our project so awesome let's jump back to issues now